Except for Tessiki. Ciao, boo. Anyways, what's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. Girl, listen, your girl has been sick, girl, but I feel better, okay? I feel better. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so yeah, so today we're gonna be getting into some tea, some mess, some drama. Y'all already know what time it is, child. Okay, I'm here to bring and talk about the tea, and we go kiki about it, girl. Just, just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. It's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Maya. We are lit over here. Trust I believe that. And yeah, let's get into the mess. Child, so y'all know how Biggie comes up on YouTube, gets her coin, and basically reviews the episodes, child. Even though she's about 10 episodes behind, girl, I'll still give you grace because you're funny and I love your channel. But that's besides the point. So she does her YouTube videos this at the third. She throws shade. She talks her ish. She reacts to the episodes as she is basically filming, you know, the video. So, child, listen. <laughs> so she clocked Natalie's tea, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. The chin wants to say something to me personally. And of course, out of all the girls that she could say something to, she wants to say something to me. Like Natalie only talks to people that she feels like she could talk to that way because she thinks like, oh, Biggie's not going to attack me. Biggie's not going to do this. So I'm just going to go over there and yell and get my camera time. Like, okay, Natalie Nunn, get your camera time. But you still look like shit. And then Natalie always got some corny ass game playing on their bus. Now here she goes asking Picking on Scotty? Right. Talking about Scotty was sucking before school. Like, why Scotty always gotta be the one? You thought they was feeling you. Now he's just on the mic talking and you know, letting that chin run on. You know what I'm saying? She always has a run on sentence with that damn long ass chin. Now let's talk about doing them dirty because we're not gonna we're gonna talk about you because how you have a nerve to call me a big ass head when you got a big old chin. Natalie, stop playing with me because where was this energy for all the other girls? These girls have been messing up your bags for seasons upon seasons upon seasons and you never say nothing because now the chin wants to say yeah so y'all know natalie girl what the <laughs> chill so natalie responded she did not really like what biggie had to say clearly or else she would not have responded so she said biggie you're so cute never that energy in real life if you're gonna be a baddie be a baddie this is giving teddy needs to come back not you he's the one popping off natalie girl oh honestly i'm about to get into both of y'all but first let's let's get into you natalie okay you didn't do nothing right here but just prove her point oh as you can see girl biggie made it her point to let let it be known that natalie girl you really don't got no smoke or you really don't want it with nobody else and you really don't bring your issue to nobody else but biggie okay which is which is i mean is she is she lying <laughs> did she lie did i fucking lie no ma'am okay so she did not lie so Again, by Natalie just responding, it just goes to show that, girl, you really do pick and choose your battles because, again, you're so quick to respond to this little snippet of her throwing a little light shade. But when somebody really brings some... When, when somebody when somebody come your way with some allegations, talking about something you get p***ed out by Lemmy, talking about something you be f***ing and sucking on different people, okay, with, with a whole husband out here, you don't say nothing. You have yet to respond to Stutter Girl, who just went live uh, like what? A, a few days ago, a week ago, and just spoke on your name and said all this crazy stuff about you, and you still have not responded. Y'all know, like, everything I be saying is facts. Like, I don't know why these people be playing. Just fucking everywhere. Since I met Natalie, she just be fucking like, bitch, you fuck everywhere. Like, bitch, you don't have no motherfucking morals to that cat, bitch. Girl, why you ain't respond to that? Why you keep responding to Biggie? Why, why, why you responded to Biggie? And Biggie really ain't even say nothing, girl. Biggie talk, girl. Biggie talking that mess on her YouTube channel, making her coin, girl. Reacting to an episode, and you responded, girl. Go respond to Stutter Girl, okay? <laughs> and if not, please just be quiet. 
quiet. Child, but Biggie, let's go ahead and get into you, girl. We already know that Natalie is picky choosy at this point. Girl, she is gonna pick and choose who she responds to. Girl, you need to girl. Anyways, Biggie, let's really get into you. I I like girl, you y'all know I love me some Biggie. I love me some big Dominicano. Girl. Don't 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 get it twisted, girl. Don't get what I'm about to say twisted. Don't get it twisted. I like her. There are some things about her that rub me the wrong way sometimes sometimes, but it's not enough for it to make me not like her. You know what I'm saying? But I, I gotta call you out, girl. Girl, Natalie would not treat you that way if you did not let her treat you that way. Let's really keep it a buck. Okay. Let's keep it a buck. Uh, Biggie, when she get in your face and she talk to you like that and she talk about you, she talk to you, girl, she, be, she, Natalie be coming at you crazy, girl, okay? Girl, set you up multiple times this season, be in your face, yelling, talking to you any kind of way, treating you any kind of way, siding with, si- siding with your ops. Girl, that girl do not care about you and she has showed you this time and time after again. Girl, she has showed you this time after time after time again. It was so obvious that she wanted you to be the butt of the joke of the season. She wanted you, she wanted to paint you as the joke of the season, girl. Okay, it is so obvious. It is so obvious. And, and, and you let her do it. Let's really get into it though. Let's let's really clock it though. Let's really get into it. Like you let her do it. You let her get in your face. You let her punk you. Let's. Uh, I, you you know what I'm saying. So yes, I understand that Natalie is very picky choosy. She l- l- I, and I'm not gonna take that away from her. She really is, girl. She pick and choose who she want to respond to, who she want to get at this, that, and the third. But it's like she would not. You 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 wouldn't be one of the people that she know she can play with. If you would stop letting her play with you, but you keep letting this woman play with you. She be, Natalie be playing, the way Natalie be pay, playing a biggie face is, is ridiculous. To the point where I'm actually irritated that Biggie did not take off on her at the reunion. I am. Yeah. Scar, Scarface should not have been the only one bold enough to put her hands on Natalie. Biggie, you should have got her too. You should have. You should have. So the only reason why she feel like she can play with you versus other people is because other people, other people is not for to let Natalie play in their face. You let Natalie play in your face. The only time where you ever addressed, not even addressed, because you never addressed her so far. Okay, you never did. You never do. Every single time she says something to you, every single time she yells at you, you're on mute. This girl looked you in your eye and told you they're about to go upstairs and get your stuff. You know, you're out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you really don't be having no rebuttal or no clapback or nothing. The only time where you really talk your ish is uh, about Natalie or to Natalie, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's on your YouTube channel. Of course, you're making your coin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kudos to you, girl. And and you're confessional. Like, no cap. Like, when it comes to Natalie, girl, you are a confessional gangster. Like, you be clocking her tea in a confessional, but when it's face-to-face, it's nothing. It's not, it's really not like, yeah, like I said, girl, you, you let Natalie do that to you, girl. So she going to feel like she going, she's going to continuously feel like she can play with you. Like even the fact that Natalie said in her little rebuttal to your YouTube channel, it's the fact that she even came out her mouth to say, it's never this energy in real life. Just the fact that she can even say that to you is crazy. Biggie did not just stir up trouble with Natalie, girl. She stirred up some trouble with Roly and Tessiki. Not really stir up trouble, but, you know, she spilled some tea, behind-the-scenes tea, that got edited out, of course, in House A's favor. I mean, come on. House A is allegedly doing a f***ing and sucking around there, so, of course, it's going to be edited in their favor, child. Girl, so, apparently, Tessiki, Loki, Bahaki, Bahaki, Below Key, okay, punked Roly, and I, I i'm here for it child so let's go ahead and get into what biggie had to say when i picked up the chair Roly want to start talking junk talking about oh this is why biggie shouldn't be coming to jamaica she's trying to do this she's trying to do that tzatziki look Roly dead in her face right next to et and told her y'all flip this whole table on you what's up but they edited that out right and they put it only in the confessional it's cool when they do it girl so if this is true this actually explains a lot it seems as though a lot of stuff got edited out of that dinner scene which is crazy yeah why do they like i know why <laughs> i know why 
But it's like, why? Like, don't, like, like let's really give it, keep it a buck. Like, Baddies East is already low-key but high-key trash. Like, it's already trash. So it's like, y'all can't even edit right. Like, y'all, and then it's not only is it already low-key but high-key trash, but it's like, y'all are editing out good parts. Like, what is wrong with y'all? This is low-key why I want Natalie off the show. Okay, because as long as Natalie is on the show, it's, it's going to be biased editing. It's going to be, and it, it, it's all going to be with the, it, it's, it's all going to be biased to, like, the girls that she rolled with. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's always going to be in their favor. Like, it's so irritating. <laughs> Girl, it is It is annoying. Please, please, please get Skyscraper Chin off the show. Because uh, the biased editing, the biased security guards, I really just cannot deal. I can't deal. Because it's like, why would y'all edit that out? Oh, because y'all want really to keep this big bad wolf <laughs> image Big, I'm sorry, not big, bad, wolf, big, back, wolf, big, back, wolf. Okay, I'm sorry. Not big, bad, big, back. Okay, y'all want her to keep this big, back, wolf image. And it's like, y'all y'all would do anything to keep to, to have her keep that image and y'all do it with the entire house. Hey, it is irritating. It was real irritating, child. Now, bro, Lee, girl, girl, if this is true, I'm not gonna lie, girl, use a punk, child, and you was real picky choosy girl okay you you mad about a chair when when, a, when when somebody looked you in your face and said i will flip this entire table on you no ma'am like how are you supposed to be the bully of the house you know what i'm saying the big back wolf of the house and somebody looking you in your face and telling you that and you ain't doing nothing boo you know what i'm saying and again it's just it's just a bias for me because y'all mad at biggie about the chair do uh a little tea spilled y'all may or may not have seen my video but t hi my name's t she said in her youtube video that they treated biggie so bad to the point where when biggie was about to you know do it what she was gonna do with the chair the ceo literally made yelled at her and made her apologize to everybody about it. like <laughs> they been doing my girl so bad So y'all know Stunner Girl and Automatic have been going back and forth, girl. Allegedly, um, Automatic has been f***ing and sucking on the CEO. She caught the clap, girl. Um, Stunner Girl basically put that out to the world. Now she want to uh, file a lawsuit, child. It is just a mess, girl. It's a mess, okay? It got to the point, girl. It got so bad to the point where Automatic posted, okay, private pictures of Stunner Girl when she was, you know... Not of age, girl. It was, girl, it was a mess, okay? Uh, on the max, whole Twitter account got snatched, child. Just a mess, okay? I cannot stress that enough, okay? But... Stunner Girl recently went on live and basically trolled Automac a little more after she said that, or well, actually she claimed that Automac was in the live. Let's get into it. La chlamydia. <clears throat> you feel me? Go live in your house. You want to see your house, boo. Don't come on my live unless you have a house. I can't go live and show her house. Can't do it. Do you guys want to take a tour around mine? I have a gym. I have a pool. I have a, a movie theater room. I have a motherfucking, uh, what's that shit called? I have a room for just a pool table. I got a game room. I got a glam room. I got a studio. I got a guest room that got beds in it. We don't, that's what we want to see. Bitch. We want to make sure that that you popping is actually getting you out, out of that little dirty ass apartment. With the little raggedy ass dogs. Bitch. See, my motherfucking dogs, I got Meryl's. We don't got them little white, she got a little white people dog, them little, them little, little, <laughs> the little dogs that look like, like chlamydia, they look like they got rabies, got a white people dog with the rabies, feeding it Caesar, Caesar, Caesar food, get the fuck off my shit, a bitch ain't never seen me in person to say I don't talk unless I'm on social media, Please, boo, because when I was um, on that network, I was running that network, bitch, and I didn't have to do nothing to do that. Me and my Look, okay, don't get, don't get it twisted. I enjoy drama just as much as the next person, but it's like, stutter girl, please shut the, girl, shut the fuck 
up. But at the same time, it's like, uh, Automatic t- technically already took it there. But then it's like, Stunner Girl took it there first. But then Automatic really took it there. So I was like, eh, I really can't blame you, child. Anyways, I don't even know what to say about this, honestly. It's really just like, like uh, y'all know how I be, child. And y'all be getting on me talking about something. When, 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 when I'm in tour with somebody, y'all, y'all always, child. When I'm in tour with somebody, I'm going to say whatever. I'm going to say whatever. I don't care. I'm going to hit below the belt. I don't believe in that, me personally. I just feel like there's just cer- certain things that you just shouldn't say because I feel like it's going to come back on you, baby. One thing about karma, girl, she is going to spin the block every single time. So I feel like the tongue is very powerful. So that's why sometimes I feel like I be calling the girls out sometimes for what they be saying. And in this case, it's just like, stutter girl, like you... <laughs> <laughs> like you're steady talking about somebody's financial situation when your comp like we all know how you came up at this point okay we all know how you came up what you had to do to get out of that situation you know what i'm saying so it's just like for you to make fun of the next person about not having a house or being homeless or living in a quote-unquote as she said about on a mac dirty ass apartment it's just like really you know what i'm saying because even what girl it's like at least she has a roof over her head like i don't know i feel like sometimes sometimes some of the girls like their little jabs it's really just like you know what i'm saying like it it really just shows you like how un like how unhumble if that's even a word you could just tell how a person is really not humble because what do you mean dirty ass apart? like at least she like even if it, i mean child like that's none of my business either way but it's like at least she has a roof over her head like there are people that are sleeping in their car sleeping in the street you know what i'm saying like at least she has a roof over her i don't know but it's like i can't really say anything because automatic already she like automatic really took it there okay she really took it there. so it's like I, who am I to tell Stutter Girl what she can and cannot say but it's like girl you would think that she would like like girl considering the fact that we all know how you came up child like you know what I'm saying like you and and I love her but it's like girl you did not your upbringing was not peaches and cream baby like for you to be making fun of somebody's and, and you're doing better now which is amazing you know what I'm saying I'm very proud of her she works hard she goes to her bookings she put on shows girl this girl is is getting her money okay so it's like I'm proud of the position that she is in now especially for what she came from but it's like baby your upbringing was not peaches and cream boo it wasn't child but you know on also makes fun of the girls for being broke okay on on she do because girl I, I i forget what you said to et you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like eh, you know so child i don't know child i don't know girl <laughs> you was making fun of et for quote unquote living in the trenches and living in the hood, and girl, now Stunner Girl is online talking about some. You ain't even got a house. You're homeless. Your your apartment look a certain way. You who know what I'm saying, girl? It, it's it, it's just a lot. Y'all y'all always is making fun of each other like financial situations, and it's like I don't know. I feel like doing. That's why I don't call ET Brokey or EBT. That's why I don't I don't do that because I feel like it can really turn back on you. Like, and people don't realize that. Like, the tongue is so powerful. Like, I really feel like, yeah, you making fun of somebody now for what they don't have and what they lack. But it's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's you you doing that, but girl, girl, karma, karma, go spin the block, baby. And I'm not even joking, girl. Like, as fast as you get it, you can lose it, too. That's why when it comes to, like, just anything, I try to I try to remain humble no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll never hear me, like, talk down on somebody. Like, well, shit. Because <laughs> I, I, I be talking my mess. But I'm talking about, like, financial-wise. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, status-wise. I, I try not to do that. You know what I'm saying? So that is it for this video. Thank y'all so much for sticking to the end. Your girl got 16K subscribers. Girl, please don't play with me. Please don't play with y'all, the messy mob. Because girl, without y'all, girl, I wouldn't even go. I, I appreciate y'all so much. Listen, I really do. But yeah, that's all I got for y'all today. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on that post notification bell. So you know every single time I post a new video, it's Messy Maya, it's the Messy Mob. We are lit over here. Trust and believe that. And yeah, bye. Go on, stand right here, baby, girl, let me get you, 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 you